everyone, and thanks very much for tuning in to Smash Factor TV once again. My name's Natalie Adams. So with this video tip, um, I get asked quite a lot how people or golfers can improve their scores without actually changing their technique and their swing. So that's what we're gonna have a look at. We're gonna look at my top three tips on how you can do that. And please remember, if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button for me and click notifications. And that way you'll get notified every time we release uh, a new video. We release two new videos every week and they're all geared up to help you get more from your game and to enjoy your golf more. So getting back to today's topic, we're having a look at um, what three tips I would give you on how to improve your golf game without actually changing your swing. Well, tip number one would definitely be to know how far you actually hit the ball. Now, there's a lot of um, GPS systems that are out and available on the market now. Um, at the range that uh, my studio is based at, we have Top Tracer on the range, so that gives you your yardages. You can have a gapping session using Trapman or uh, Foresight. Um, products so there's there's kind of no excuse not to know how far you're hitting the ball nowadays uh, so what I would work on doing is know how far you hit the ball in total and to do that hit 10 balls disregard the shortest one disregard the longest one and then take an average of those eight that are left and uh, you know have that is kind of your, your mid-range, if you like, for how far that club will go. Give yourself five yards either side of that average. Um, so for me, hitting um, eight iron, I would be saying that eight iron would go 130 for me. So I know if I've got a shot that's between 125 and 135, eight iron is in the running for me to hit that. It's also important to know how far you actually carry the ball and then how far it runs for your total. So again, try to find that out. If you're someone that hits the ball lower, but then it rolls a long way, you need to know that if you're hitting into the green and there's you know water, you've got to uh, clear and there's bunkers and so on. So make sure you know your yardages rather than guessing, because for most of you, you don't hit as far as you think you do, okay? So make sure you've got those yardages absolutely dialed in. Okay, tip number two for you um, on how to improve your golf, how to lower those scores without changing your swing is work on taking fewer shots around the green, most definitely. If you can get rid of three putts off your card, that is the biggest way you will influence your score by improving your putting. Um, and it's a, a big area of uh, golf that the majority of golfers do not work on. It's fun to hit balls on the range, to smash that driver out, but actually you make your score round the green. So take some time to start working on your putting and especially working on holding those three to five footers. They will make all the difference to your score. Uh, improving your chipping as well, obviously, but if there's just one thing to work on, it would be start to hold a few more putts, especially those short putts. So work on, work on your putting stroke and being a bit more confident on holding those putts. Okay, my final tip for how to improve your golf and lower your scores without improving your technique, use what you've got, but when you are hitting balls on the range or on the practice ground, start to develop the skill that you have. So by that, I mean start to play little games. Um, so for example, how close to that flag can I get? Then, you know, change the target straight away. How close can I hit it to... Um, that tree, that post over there, that light. Start to vary the target about the distance it is away from you. Use different clubs. Play little games, play little skill games and actually play like you would practice. So maybe start the hole off if you normally play the first and it's say a par four and you'd hit driver. Imagine a fairway out on that driving range. Hit driver into that fairway area. Give yourself a point if you do it and don't score if you don't. And after you've hit 20 shots, imagining that you're playing the course that you play and you're using the different clubs, look at how many uh, points you've scored 
and then the next time you try that game, see if you can score more points. That really will help you um, to get more from what you already have and to learn how to use what you already have. So hit at targets, start to create little skill games. Again, there's loads available um, on the website or just have a look on the internet in general. There'll be plenty of skill games to help you uh, develop your ability to score without even having to work on your technique. So have a, have a go with those three uh, tips. They definitely will help you to start lowering your scores without you even changing your swing. Your golf will improve with no swing work, no technique. But if you get better at those three things, you'll score better and you'll enjoy your game more. I'll see you next time with some more game-changing golf coaching.